Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you. Today we are featuring the Stamp Wheel Center Alignment Guides, the Low Tack Sticky Mat, and the Sweet Layering Party Candle Stencil Set from Simon Says. Here I am setting up the alignment guide. I have the card panel ready to go. The guide I'm using here is for A2 card panels. We put the card stuck up against the guide and remove it. Now we're ready for the stenciling. I take the first layer of the stencil and place it down on top of the cardstock using Spellbinder's Best Ever Craft Tape because the stencil measures 4x4, four four, so it's shorter than the cardstock. Now I'm taking Distress Oxide ink, sponge sugar, and a waffle flour blender brush, inking it up and applying it to the cardstock. Now I'm moving over to Wilted Violet, picking up a new blender brush, filling in the second candle, going in with a heavy hand because I want it all filled in nicely, taking a paper towel and wiping away the color because I don't want them to contaminate. Now I'm using Squeeze Lemonade. This is for the third candle. Filling it in nicely. And then uh, we're doing the flames with the squeezed lemonade. There we go. That looks good. And now we're moving on to uh, the next color here, which is Twisted Citron. Inking up the blender brush and transferring it over to the cardstock. The nice thing about this tape and the uh, mat is the stencil is not shifting at all. It holds it really nicely. So now we're taking the Salty Ocean for the fifth candle here, filling it in nicely. It's a pretty blue. And taking the paper towel once again, wiping away the color so they don't contaminate. And for the last candle here, we are using Spice Marmalade, inking up the blender brush, and filling in the candle. There we go. That looks good. And now for the peel and reveal. Now we are ready to line up the second stencil. This one is going to add some patterns to the candles, some fun patterns. So again, we take the Spellbinders Best Ever Crab Tape, tape it down. There we go. Now we're on to Wild Honey. This is going to go over the Squeeze Lemonade candle. Uh, this time you want to go in with light pressure since you're adding the patterns. Now we're on to Lumberjack Plaid, and this is going to go over the orange color there, the Spice Marmalade. There we go. On to another new uh, color here, Prize Ribbon, a new blender brush, inking it up. There we go. That looks pretty. And now we're on to Rustic Wilderness. This is going to go over Twisted Citron. Nice light pressure. There we go. And now on to uh, Villainous Potion. There we go. These ink pads are really saturated, so you don't need much on to your brush. I use that paper towel just to wipe it clean in between colors because I don't have all the brushes for all the colors. There we go. Now on to Write Permission. And this is going to go over that, uh, over the candles. They're the second layer. There we go. That looks good. Again, light pressure. And the fifth candle is done. 
That was the sixth candle, not the fifth candle. Now remove the tape slowly for the peel and reveal. This is an eraser tool I picked up from Altenew a while back. It's good for clearing up any ink smears that you got onto your cardstock. It works really nice for that. Here I'm getting out a sentiment strip from one of the CZ design collections. I use those wafer dies to cut it out with. Now we're going to clean up my work area here, removing the mat and the ink pad holder because we're going to start assembling the card. So we take the sentiment strip and my Copic marker and we cover it up here with the black marker because it's printed on a white cardstock so you want to cover it the edges because it gives it a nice finishing touch. There we go. Now we take some Gina K tape and uh, tape up the back and now we adhere it to the gold matte cardstock from Simon. I love this gold matte cardstock. We line it up there we go, that looks really nice. Perfectly straight. I love those uh, wafer dies from Waffle Flower, the A2 layering dies. And these are some Hero Arts note cards that I found. Um, Pre-scored, all that. Great time saver. Take the Gina K Dot Runner again. And here we go, we line it up. That looks really great. There we go. Now it's ready for the sentiment strip. Finding a place for it. And we take the detailed scissors and some foam tape and shorten those up so it fits on the back of the sentiment strip. And then uh, peel the backers off. And now we line it up in the center here. That looks good. There we go. And we found a few spots that were showing, so we wanted to cover those up. Okay, now we need to make this card shine. So we're gonna use some Trinity Stamps Gorgeous Golden Baubles Embellishment Mix. Just trying to find the placement here. I think this works well. This is eye-catching, having them scattered up and down on the card, adding some in the middle here. I love this embellishment wand, the wax tip on it. It holds the uh, baubles really nicely. There we go. That looks great. It goes really nicely with the gold matte cardstock. And now we get out our Gina K Connect glue and add some dabs of glue. And the nice thing about this glue is it dries clear, so you won't see it. There we go. Just a few more here. Oh yes, that's much better. I thought that was the finished card, but then I needed to step it up one more time. I needed to add some glitter to the flames, so I'm using my Wink of Stella gold glitter pen that I found and just adding them all to the flames. The nice thing about this glitter pen is it dries uh, really nice and it doesn't smear or come off on your fingers. There we go. I think every card personally needs some glitter. I do have a love-hate relationship with glitter, though. <laughs> there we go. That looks wonderful. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Ciao for now.